Welcome back to 7-Minute Options. Today is Wednesday, July 7th. Looking at a few positions here, trying to keep my account somewhat active. One of the positions I'm looking at here is XLE. This is the uh, this is an energy ETF. And one of the things I noticed here is that it's kind of going sideways. And the IV and the IVR are a little bit on the high side. Well, not very much, but higher than it's been in the last 3-4 months. And if I go out to the 15 delta and sell a naked put and the 15 delta sell a naked call, I can pick up about $84 in credit, only give up about $521 in buying power, get three theta in return, which is fantastic. Um, it is quite delta neutral, so it's not, a, not correlated with the spies at all, uh, especially this position. This is a, quite a neutral position here. So I like this here. It's... Um, Let's look at this on the chart, 46 and 59. So there's August 20th there. If I look at 46, that ends up right around there. 46 and 59. It's right near the top of the chart here. There you go, 59, perfect. And that's kind of where we are now. So right now we are right in the middle and we haven't breached this line, um, you know, for the last three, four months. We kind of flirted with the put back in April and we bounced off it. So let's see where this goes over the next 45 days. Let's see if I can get filled on this, get my 84 cents in credit. And while that one's open, another one that I saw today that caught my eye was um, XLK. And what's interesting about XLK is that the RSI on XLK is extremely high, right? So this is XLK. This is a technology-based ETF. I believe Apple and Microsoft are the major holdings here. I think Microsoft and Apple are collectively represent about 40% of this stock's, uh, sorry, this fund's value. And so they are highly dependent on Apple and Microsoft. And if you look at this line here, the faint blue line is the 20-day moving average. This thing has been ripping to the upside. It's been above the 20-day moving average for quite a while now. And the RSI hasn't been this high, um, you know, maybe even, yeah, since September of last year. Oh, there was some kind of a major event there. But um, the RSI indicates that this is quite overbought. And so we're waiting for a bit of a pullback here. So maybe this is a good time to... to uh, sell a call credit spread or open up some kind of a bearish position um, and you can see the IV picking up which is also good the challenge here is exactly what um, and I still haven't figured out exactly how to best play this um, if I try to open up a call credit spread like let's say I sell the 157 buy the 160 that's $300 wide so it's $3 white wing um, I only get 50 bucks in credit, right? Which is only like one sixth. And I mean, I can sell this, pick up three negative spy weighted deltas, which is good because I want to get my portfolio a little bit closer to zero. I'm a little bit exposed here in case the spy has a pullback. Um, and you know, I get 0.7 thetas for 252 bucks in buying power. Maybe that's not too bad. And 157, it's, yeah, it's right at the very top of here. I mean, it's not terrible, but it's not really all that great either. I mean, I want to open this position just so I can get 50 bucks in credit. But there isn't really any other way to play it. If I go down here, I can get, you know, $91 in credit for picking up $4 of risk. Or I can open up a $5 wide wing, but then I'm going to the 34 delta, which means I really need a pullback. If I'm going to 34 delta, I mean, that's, that's right about there. That's the 154. So... Two or three more days of up moves and i mean i could open this pick up 374 dollars of buying power reduction 1.3 theta minus six deltas 126 credit if this thing really starts to challenge me i can turn it into a narrow iron condor or maybe even a straddle just to minimize my losses um yeah so i'm gonna you know what? i'm gonna open this one up 126 in credit on a five dollar wide wing and really hoping for a pullback here because it's overextended. And we're heading into earnings. You know, all we need is one or two disappointing earnings or something like that. And, and the whole fund on the, in the tech sector can start pulling back a little bit. So 
yeah, I'm going to open this one up. So yeah, let's see if this gets filled. And that's it. Those are the two positions I'm looking at today. All right. Thanks very much.